How many roses do you actually grow here? There is 2,600 individual rose plants here. There is 18 different classifications and over 275 variety of roses. Who decides which varieties that you grow? There's varieties of roses that have been here since the garden started in this location since 1994. If there is a rose that is failing, we might replace the individual rose. If we seem that the whole bed is maybe declining, then we'll um, change the whole garden out. Um, I make that decision by doing health reports and things of that nature. So I'm not just like ripping a rose out because I don't like it. I actually, once a month, uh, go around and look at every single garden bed and determine if it has insect damage or um, uh, fungus damage and then um, make a health report and at the end of the year decide if I, that rose is healthy enough to keep going or maybe I do need to replace it. So then do you get to pick the new variety that comes in? Yes, um, however, I do get um, new varieties that come in all the time because the breeders are really fun and, and, and always developing new roses. I do have um, uh, a space here in the garden in Circle 4 that we call the test area. So I will buy um, bundles of five, put them in that test area. If they seem like they're going to handle Duluth weather, then I will go ahead and purchase 20 to 25 plants depending on the bed size to fit in the rest of the circles. How many roses of each variety are here? So each bed is a slightly different size. So I may have as little as 20 in the English formal garden area, or up to 30, depending on the space. And it also depends on the rose. Some roses are naturally smaller, just depending on the breeder and the, uh, the type of rose it is, because we have miniatures. We have all the way up to um, large, large climbers, and so they get a lot bigger. What is the difference between a regular rose and a standard rose or a tree rose? So your uh, regular rose that you're thinking of is the ones that are um, roots in the ground and then the bush on the top. Your tree rose is uh, a grafted plant. So you'll have a root stock of a rose and then they will train the stem and it looks like it, it's a tree, but it's, it's actually a rose cane that's been trained. And then they'll graft another rose, the one that you want to see the blooms on, on top of that. How do you keep up with the watering? So we're lucky enough to have irrigation. And that would, that's, that's how we keep up with the watering. Do you have to worry about getting leaf disease at all if the irrigation hits the leaves? So we do have to worry about fungus, uh, powdery mildew and black spot seems to be the two major diseases that we come across in Duluth here. We do spray fun uh, fungicides and um, we rotate them through between like a contact uh, chemical and a systemic one. Um, I try to do it uh, as long of the intervals as possible because I don't want to overspray. Um, if we do get insects, I generally do nothing unless it's um, like aphids. I can spray the aphids with a hose and that they're such a soft body insect that that will just blow them onto the ground. I don't like spraying for insect, ins insects because um, that could harm the pollinators. So, so far we haven't been spraying for insects here. You said that the ro roses start blooming some time back already. How do you keep them looking so beautiful? How we keep the roses blooming is that we make sure that we fertilize really early in the spring. Uh, we fertilize with organic chicken manure, which smells really good. <laughs> and we put it around each individual plant. And so we make sure that they get enough nitrogen. Roses are really nitrogen dependent. If they don't have a lot of nitrogen, they won't spend the energy in the plants to put on the gorgeous uh, flower. We fertilize early spring, usually April when there's bud break. Um, we don't want the leaves to come out completely because you don't want the fertilizer to actually touch the leaf of the plant because it is so high in nitrogen, it could actually burn the plant, but yet we still need that nitrogen for the health of the plant to grow later when we want the flowers. It takes about two cups of fer organic fertilizer per plant, and we have to sprinkle it around the uh, drip line of each individual plant. 
when we get our fertilizer, we make sure that we get it from a, a, a reputable garden store because you don't want to take your chicken manure from your neighbor's chickens because it needs to actually sit for six months or longer. Otherwise, it'll be too hot and potentially burn your plants as well. So there's a fine line of too much nitrogen and too little. And so you don't want hot manure, basically. Do you fertilize at all during the summer also? I haven't. It, it can be done um, generally because we have so many plants. There's just so many things to do um, that I generally don't unless that flower looks um, like it might need more help. But generally, I don't fertilize second time. Then how do you deadhead all of these roses? <laughs> well, it's not just me. I have help. Um, there's other city staff that helps deadhead. But we also have volunteers that come once a week. Uh, once a week. Um, they help us prune on Tuesdays from 9 until 11.30. So if people are interested on Tuesdays to come and help volunteer pruning roses, we'll show them how to do it properly. It looks like you also label all of the varieties too, is that right? Yep, we're a public garden, but we also do education as well. We have uh, garden tags on each of the roses and it gives the, the name of the, common name of the plant, the breeder, uh, the year that this flower was introduced and also it has a breeder code which basically uh, is its own key to that flower. And then how about deadheading? The reason why we keep deadheading is to trick the plant into producing blooms over and over again. If we don't the rose will put on rose hips and then it'll be done. Wendy this is absolutely beautiful and you obviously keep these roses looking so pretty in the summer. Can you share with us what you do to overwinter them? Yes, absolutely.